The military was one way, it was something else after the military. And that's all right. I'm just trying to finish out the rest of your question. What was the one after the military? Well, I can agree with you. You're going to get bipartisan support on this. First of all, Congress was really not consulted. We were talking with the UN and not deciding how to do this and when to do this with our own Congress. We were well, we kept asking about this. And I, I, there's, there's a Military Powers Act, and the president does have that ability. It has to come back to question to come back in consultation with Congress. And that's what we're arguing about, is saying, hey, listen, you started this thing. Shouldn't you have at least talked with us about what the mission statement is? And why are we all over the board? You're talking to Mubarak one way in Egypt, and then you're talking to Gaddafi in another way. There's no consistency whatsoever. Right. How about being consistent and, and dialoguing? And I can say that across the board. But you're going to have those discussions, because I believe in the first week we're back, we have a bunch of amendments on the floor. And they're coming bipartisanly, and they're coming both from the House and from the Senate. So I think we're going to have that discussion. You had one more thing after that. I thought there was six. I, I actually didn't take federal government subsidies for my health care. I took my own private one to make a point. I don't want somebody telling me uh, what I can have and what I can't have. And if it's good for me, then all of you ought to be on there on that health care system. The other thing is, is our, we did take a budget cut across the board, across, and it hurt us, the MRA. Our budgetary aspect for our district, we should have seven district offices. That's how big we are. We're bigger than the size of Pennsylvania. We, we can make a cut. I don't care. Okay. Uh, I actually. I, I, excuse me. I failed to set some ground rules. <laughs> yeah. You can blame it on me. No rocks, whatever. But we're going to ask one question, and then we're going to respond. Have congressmen respond so that we can get a whole lot of other people in there. All right. We were just downgraded. We're one of the few countries in the, in, the, in the world 
but still has a triple A, still has a triple A ranked ring. Okay? And cuts you are right. Cuts do tip one or two ways. Do they create jobs? Mm, I can tell you. Some of them do, some of them don't. I will give you an example of one that doesn't. I remember I am old enough to know when there wasn't an EPA. I remember that day. There wasn't an EPA and we needed an EPA. But today we've got seven to eight layers of the EPA. We have a local, a city, a county, a state, and numerous levels at the federal government. That's where we need to make those cuts because they are impeding the process of jobs. I'll give you the quick hand. Let's go up the mountain. Let's talk about the Schultz Pass fire. What we've been doing is paying money to people to maintain our forests when you can bid this out. The federal government has restricted access into that forest for proper thinning. Even by, by, by their numbers, they said 60 ponderosa trees per acre. When up on that mountain, by their numbers, but I'm just using their numbers, okay? They're well over 300 trees per acre, not including the, fuel the fuels on the floor. And because we didn't go in there and thin them out, here's what happened. And by the way, you're going to eat this, all of us as taxpayers. That mountain burned. And that mountain burned so hot that the ground there is called dacite. It's a crystalline lava type of material that breaks down over hundreds of years. But when you add heat, intense heat to it, it recrystallizes, which means when it rains, it comes off a slide. And what happened is a little girl and her sister were sitting out in the corner of the, the, the yard. Her dad was working on the deck, and they heard this strange sound. And out of the forest came a mountain of, of water and mud. A little girl died, 12-year-old little girl. You need to go back up there and see all the damage to those houses because it's going to come again because it takes 50 to 100 years for grass to grow in day site. 50 to 100 years just to get the grass to grow and grass is not going to impede water. This is where the federal government discreated jobs because they didn't allow us to manage the resources properly. I'm a believer that we have to have the EPA but in a happy balance. Creating six, six, over 600 jobs in Forfry. Folks, this is something that everybody's getting along with. We've got environmental groups. We've got the biodiversity. We've got the economic groups. We've got the, 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 the groups that actually do the work. They're all in agreement here. And how can you have an opening for a bid that you state is going to happen in November? Then I was promised that it was going to be in April. And now we've got a, a forest ranger out of Albuquerque telling me it's going to be now in June. There's got to be some reasoning and some accountability across the board. So those kind of cuts for the EPA and tell me where that dollar is, it's important. Those kind of cuts are what we have to do because we also have to grow the job economy from the private sector. If you have only jobs from the federal government, you've lost. It's all government. It has to be a happy balance. Yes, sir. Hi, Jim. Thank you. Thank you.